It's time to do that June 2022 tier list. Big 30% of you guys have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up the 100k ladder. All right, so we have tier one, 1 1.5, tier two, rogue, and LOL tier. So we're going to put Tri Brigade. We're going to start this in the rogue tier here. This deck did kind of start off a little bit strong, but after the loss of the brand package, this deck kind of... It's fallen very much into your rogue contender-ish borderline tier two category here. And it's actually kind of sad because this deck still seems like it has a lot of potential. For a regional level, I do think that this, this can do something here. Drytron, I'm going to put at 1.5. After the last YCS that we kind of started to see this deck show up, uh, your combos with this deck are still very, 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 very cool. I am actually pretty impressed with the cool things that you can do right now with this. A Morph Actor Pain is a pretty cool card. Prank is I'm going to put an LOL tier um, after the loss of the list. I've seen them show up once in a hero deck where they're playing Polymerization because they could search it. It's just that. All right? it, it's nothing crazy. Um, I really wish that this deck would be a little bit better than uh, just that. Now, your adventurer package, absolutely still going to be 1.5. Um, there's like a pure adventure deck that showed up at one event, which was really cool. It got top 16 out of its regional. But this engine is still very much a hard carry for what it wants to do. Um, I'm going to still leave this up here. Um, it does not represent anything in and of itself. But the engine itself is very good. True Draco. You know, they still have triple skill drain. Um, they're not rogue, because they're not doing anything. In Master Duel, this deck's a lot better, yes. But it's just, it's not competing. I think I've seen one locals top with this so far, and it really hasn't done anything. <sighs> Prada Plant Despia. I'm going to put this in your tier two ish category for now. Um, do not be fooled by this, because the branded deck can still do, the branded Despia deck can still do things um, in terms of being a relatively cool deck. I know previously I had it up here. Um, I am going to put it here. I, I do truthfully think it's still like 1.75 borderlining because so many pro players are still looking at this deck and it, it still makes these really cool combo ceilings. But unfortunately, it it's just, it's not showing the consistent results for an 11, 12 round tournament, but for seven, eight, it can, it can perform. Next up here is DDD. Um, I'm gonna put this here in tier two because I, I do think, once again, a very good player can still pick this deck up, do well with it, but it's just that. It uh, still has some issues. Um, beyond the Pendulum, so, if you're named Tr Steven Trifonowski or Triff, you you are a god with this deck. Um, but your problem is it's it's nothing crazy. Um, I almost I don't even think it's like truly tier two. I think it's like a rogue buster at this point. Like it can still show up and do things, but like I don't know. Like I I, I truthfully consider this to be like a chunk of rogue, but like this is like your your two point ish category. Ah. Uh, yeah, the Junk Speeder deck, I'm going to put down in here. Unfortunately, um, this isn't showing up. Like, it, it did okay for a little while, but it's definitely dipped down. Salad, I'm going to put in, in Tier 2 here. So here's a really cool thing about Salaman Great. Um, this has topped a lot of nationals at this point in time. Like, this deck is really cool. Like, you can play it with adventure, without adventure, and you can have success with it. Like, this is really cool. I actually really like this a lot. Uh, Dragon Link. Um, <laughs> does it deserve 1.5 anymore? I, I'm gonna leave it at 1.5 as kind of like our border. That's typically what we do here. Plunder Patrol, I'm also gonna put in the rogue category. If you're Douglas Haddad, you can make this deck work. But... You've got Specialized Duelist for these sorts of things. Uh, Trickstar Branded. Now, we've seen the Trickstar variant doing things. Pure, pure Trickstar is not really doing anything, but I, I will say that the Trickstar Branded variant is freaking cool as crap. Like, I, I like this deck a lot. This is awesome. Um, I'm going to put it in Rogue for now. Phantom Knights. This deck is now Tier 2. Uh, Phantom Knights have fallen from grace. It's actually so so bad to say that. 
because this deck is still pretty cool what it wants to do. It's just, ugh, it, it is struggling out here. Sun Avalon Thurion. Now, this is interesting because while the Sun Avalon version of this deck has not topped a big YCS, this is still topping regionals, which is kind of interesting because I, I kind of want to put this at like, truthfully at 1.75, because I don't think that this is truly tier two. It's doing better than this deck, that's for sure. All right, Sword Soul is for sure tier one. There's not even a question about this at this point in time. I, I think that in terms of what this deck does, it does it very consistently against the rest of the meta. I'm also going to be putting the Punk deck up here as well. After recent innovations and things and how Punk is going, we've seen this deck merging with Thurion even. We're seeing like these big synchro versions of this deck coming out of the woodwork here and getting the chance to do something. And it's definitely pushed this deck up into a higher tier at this point in time and making it a lot better. Uh, I know that a lot of you... Uh, Weather Painter players out here are going to be really disappointed with this one. But you guys are about as good as True Draco is at this point in time. And I mean this in a best honest opinion as possible. Um, you're not doing anything. All right. You're not topping meta. Um, you're not even showing up as rogue options right now. I want to be like nice to, to you guys and be like, yeah, this deck is, is a lot better, but it's just not competing. I'm also going to put Scareclaw down here too. Like, Scareclaw has another thing. Tri Brigade plays this as an optional card if they want to play it. Totally optional, by the way. Not even like <laughs> lying. Uh, I'm also going to put Exosister down here in the LOL tier. This isn't even like Rogue right now. Like, obviously, once we get the better support come later on, you guessed it, this deck will be a lot better. But until that point, you got to wait. I also, obviously, Despia is up here. Like, you have these three decks that are, like, your big stronghold of the format, and they're doing relatively good at that. Flunder, um, obviously, is going to come in here. Uh, this deck cannot be... This deck is not tier two by any stretch of the imagination. It's still the, like, grindstone. Um, our new Mystic Mine Overlord here, back at it again competing. Uh, Sky Striker still is floating around at one point, like 7.5 in my opinion, but I'm going to put it up here. Regulux. Ah, yes. So pick your Thurion deck. You want to play the, obviously, like, you can play the Sun Avalon build, you can play the Adventure Thurion build, or you can merge it with Punk and play that build. But for now, I think, in terms of this engine, it's going to go in here. Uh, Dynamorphia is doing better than this, better than this, better than this. Um, in terms of things. I'm going to put this here. Um, I'm also going to put Adding Nister does have more tops than Plunder this format. We're going to put this right here. Um, I do think that Adding Nister is a very scary deck in terms of things. You just got to have a little bit more specialization for this. Uh, VW, um, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to move this up. VW has done a little bit this format. It's not a lot, but it's enough to note. Um, the Luna Light deck, uh, we're just going to put this in LOL. Unfortunately, this isn't doing anything. I'm also going to put Earthbox um, here. Earthbox is still doing stuff. Um, with Regulux, this deck got a lot better, but unfortunately, it's it's nothing like too amazing. Liebermancer, I... I'll put this at the end of Rogue. Um, MBT kind of showed the world, and a few other duelists have shown us what this deck can do. It's it's just, it's not that crazy anymore. Eldritch Branded is definitely a top contender right now. Eldritch Branded is gas gas, baby. Also, like, you get access to triple skill drain. This deck is very, very good. Hero? Um, I, this deck hasn't done anything. It's still better than Liebermancer. Invoked. Oh my god. This deck is all the way at the back of tier 2 now. Like, it's not doing anything. Zodiac is also LOL now, unfortunately. I'm going to put ABC in here. I think that ABC with the Thurion Adventure package is tier 2, for sure. And then based, or Rose Dragons, whatever you want to call this for, 
I'm gonna just put this in in here in a little. Obviously, like there's the punk deck that did play this uh, that did have success, um, but it, I'm still classifying the punk synchro deck as this. So poor poor sword soul, ten ye good stuff. Poor poor deck. So this is your tier list right now for June 2022 to kind of see how the waters are going to test. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below to make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. This guys on this out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.